Tetris is one of the world's most recognizable games. It was created in 1985 by Alexei Payetnov and it took him about three weeks to make. We will make it in about two minutes. Now I say we, but ChatGPT will literally do all the work for us. So let's make a Tetris game. I'm using the new ChatGPT 4.0 model as this model is absolutely amazing. Credit to the idea of this video goes to Min Choi. You should follow his Twitter page. It's an amazing AI page. So we're going to start out by asking ChatGPT, describe Tetris in a way to include all the specs needed to design the game. And here we go. Here are all the specifications that make Tetris Tetris. So we've got the playing field, 10 columns, 20 rows, all the tetrominoes as they're called, the game mechanics, scoring system levels, controls, obviously user interface, audio, which it will not make, of course. So now all we have to do is say, great, now create all the code for it. And I asked for install instructions in case you don't know how to use any of this, but it's very simple. So let's send that. And now it will create all the code needed to make our very own Tetris game. And there we go. It might stop halfway, so you just have to click continue writing or continue generating. But it did it in one go for me here. If we scroll all the way up, obviously you need to install Python first. Really easy, just download it from python.org. Download the latest one, that'll install and then you're ready to go. Next, the only dependency we need is Pygame. So we just click copy this code. So I just made a new folder called Tetris on my desktop, so make sure to make a new folder. And then once we're in there, we're going to click on the navigation bar at the top. Then we're just going to type in CMD and hit enter. This will open our command prompt. You can do the same thing on Mac with terminal. Just navigate to the folder in your terminal. Now we just control V. There we go. Pip install Pygame. So now Pygame is installed. I already had it installed, but this is all you need to do. We can now close our command prompt. We won't need that anymore. So next we want to open any text editor. I'm using Notepad++, but you could just use the standard Windows Notepad. That'll work just fine. Then we go over to our Tetris game code, hit copy, and as you can expect, we'll paste all of that in here. And there we go, our whole game is done so far. So now we want to save this file, we'll hit save as, and we will put it in our Tetris folder. So ChatGPT recommended we just call it tetris.py, so that's exactly what we'll do. Now we have to change the file type to a Python file type. You can just hit all files, that'll work, or you can go down to Python file there, but just do all files if you're using Windows Notepad. Call it tetris.py, hit save and now we can run our game so just double click the python file and there we go obviously that isn't the greatest but we definitely have something here so all the tetrominoes are cyan and they're going way too fast etc so i just said it works but all the tetrominoes are cyan and they fall way too fast so then it will address those issues and give you an entire updated code so this is the cool thing we can just keep asking it to make certain changes and it will do that so if we copy this code now and replace the old code with the new one hit save and open our file again there we go so now i can actually move these i can can turn them around i can make them go faster although i can't hold in the down button i have to sort of spam it to make it go faster so that's another thing we can change but it's fixed all the colors and the speed and there we go it works i should be able to show you here it should get rid of those bottom layers and there we go it actually works which is fantastic so let's make this a bit smoother so i just asked it to make it so i can hold down the button instead of tapping it and i also asked it if it could add a score in the top left so there we go again copy the new code and replace the old one let's save again and here we go we have a score up there let's see if the smooth works it does i can now hold in the down arrow for a smoother experience absolutely amazing perfect what else do we need in this game let's see what happens if we die so when we die it just closes the whole game so you can just keep adding to it everything you want now, of course, Tetris is a very simple game, but just imagine the possibilities. In such a short amount of time, AI has been able to do this. Imagine in the next months and a few years, you'll be able to create your very own game exactly how you want it, anytime you want to play. The only limit will be your imagination. And I, for one, can't wait to create my own full RPG games using AI. A bright future indeed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe.